Now to a follow-up to a Target 12 consumer investigation when the Winsonville power company closed up shop and filed for bankruptcy. More than 100 customers were left out in the cold. Well, now a lawsuit has been filed against the wood pellet company and its owner. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell joins us now with what she's learned. Ellen Meisler advertised and sold wood pellets for at least eight months. The Connecticut Attorney General says for at least part of that time, Meisler knew he would never be able to deliver the products that his customers had already paid for. How they plan to resolve the issues of pellet delivery and refunds. We introduced you to Jeffrey Gavlik back in February. He had prepaid for eight tons of wood pellets to heat his Harrisville home through the winter. His check was cashed, but most of the pellets he bought were never delivered. That was our winter heat sauce right there. Now we've learned Connecticut Attorney General George Jepson has filed an unfair trade practice lawsuit against the Wilsonville Power Company and its owner, Alan Meisler. According to court documents we obtained, the defendants had received approximately $90,000 of prepayments to supply approximately 400 tons of wood pellets to customers in Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. But the state claims Meisler only supplied 74 tons of the 400 tons that were paid for. The complaint says by November of 2015, defendants knew that they could not secure the wood pellets needed to fulfill their prepaid wood pellet customers. Nonetheless, defendants continued to solicit and accept thousands of dollars of prepayment. The attorney general claims Meisler and his company knew or should have known that their conduct was unfair or deceptive. The AG goes on to say Meisler's omissions and practices are unfair as they have resulted in substantial injury to consumers and are unethical, unscrupulous scrupulous and immoral. We have tried repeatedly to get in touch with Alan Meisler to get his side of the story. We've never been able to track him down and his attorney has not returned our phone calls or emails. So Susan, what is the state asking for in this lawsuit? A couple things. First, they want restitution for all of the people who lost money from this. They also want civil penalties of up to $5,000 for each of the alleged violations. And they want an order from the court which would prevent Alan Meisler from being involved in any business in Connecticut that accepts deposits or prepayments. So what's the next step in this case? So Alan Meisler has to file a response to this complaint he has until the end of April to do that. So stay tuned. All right, Susan, thanks so much.